There's one last thing that I want to point out about the new Creative Cloud uh, version of Photoshop. They have a really cool new document dialog that appears when you choose File New. Uh, so when I open Photoshop and I have nothing open, you can see from the right hand side screenshot that all the files that I had have had open in the last, I don't know, however long, um, will will appear. And so if I need to go back and I need to edit this girl that's blue over here on the right hand side, I could just go ahead and open it. You can also do that by choosing File Open Recent. But on the left hand side of the screenshot, you'll see that if I choose File New Document, I can just create a new document. I can choose the settings where it says Untitled, I can give the file a name. I can choose, in this example, it says it's 7 inches by 5 inches at 300 resolution. But if you look across the top of the screen, you can click on Photo, Print, Art and Illustration, Web, Mobile, Film and Video. And even if you don't know anything about those topics, if you click on them, it'll kind of give you a hint and it will say, these are the settings that you might want to choose if you're making something mobile for an iPad or an iPhone or something like that. And if you click on web, it will say, maybe these are the settings that you want for web. Now we're going to cover those dialogues in more detail, but if you want to right now, you can pause the video and you can click and see what those options might be. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the channels panel. And the channels panel will show you what colors are being used in your project. And uh, most times it will only be one of two options. It'll either be RGB, as you can see in the screenshot here. Uh, RGB stands for red, green, and blue. Images that are displayed on anything that's illuminated with light, like a display device, a computer monitor, a TV screen, and things like that are displayed using light waves that are red, green, and blue. And when you blend those light waves together, you can create all the colors that RGB can display. That would be called a gamut. A gamut of colors is the range of colors that something can display or create. You may also see CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Those are the printing process colors. So we'll call RGB the, the screen process colors, the colors that you blend together to create all the other colors that you might see on your screen. Um, if you're looking at the channels panel and you see CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black are the colors that we print with. You can see what colors your project is printing with in two ways. So first, you can go to the image menu and choose mode, and you'll see what color mode your project is using. And if you're using RGB or CMYK, you can say, oh, okay, well, I must have at least an RG and a B channel, or I must have at least a C, an M, a Y, and a K channel. But sometimes you can have channels in addition to the colors. And so you can open up the channels panel by going to the window menu and then choosing channels. And it will open and it will show you um, what colors you're using and any other channels that you might have in your project. Now I'm not going to get into great detail about what those other channels could be because we'll cover them throughout the semester, but just keep in mind it shows you your colors plus any other channels that you have saved, which could be selections, um, it could be spot colors, um, you may have heard the term Pantone matching system, and spot colors are colors that you would print with in addition to cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. If you were using spot colors in your project, you would see them listed as a channel as well. And so if we pop back to Photoshop and take a look at the image on the screen, uh, we can open up the channels panel by going to the window menu and choosing channels. See if I zoom in here. I'm just going to keep zooming in, assuming that you can see it on the recording. I'm not sure that it translates to the, the recording of the screen. So if we zoom in and we go to window and then channels, we can open up the channels panel kind of hanging out over here. I'm going to undock it, which means I'm going to grab the little tab and just click it and drag it. And then you can see what colors this image is made from. So this image is made from RGB, red, green, and blue. And if I turn off the eyeballs, you can see that the blue is represented in these areas. You'll notice that it's not blue, though it's black and white. When you look at the channels panel, what you're looking at is the density of the color being applied. And so without seeing this image in color, I can see that the background has a lot of blue in it, but the foreground doesn't have as much. And if I turn green on, now it's showing me blue and green, so I have to turn the blue off. It shows me where all the green in the image is. And then I can turn on red, and it shows me where all the red is in the image. If I turn all the channels back on, you can see what all of the colors look like if you blend the red, the green, and the blue together to create a full color image.